From entire games recreated in Minecraft, to insanely complicated plotting and graphing machines, and even a few unlucky redstone moments along the way. Join me, the Derpy Whale, as I show off 21 amazing creations players have made using nothing but redstone. If you enjoy the video, consider leaving a like and dropping a comment down below. Let me know which was your favorite. Every interaction you give this video really does go a long way. For our first redstone machine, we have a working pawn game. This was created by the player I really like stairs, and I guess he really likes Pong as well because this must have taken him a while to create. Some incredible stuff from him, and this is just our first clip. Mr. Insane, a YouTuber that has a lot of cool and interesting redstone creations on his channel, has made this amazing elevator pad. Most people would probably think it's a mod, just because of how smooth it is, but nope, this is actually fully 100% vanilla redstone. No mods or data packs used. Mr. Catface has made a fully working and functional passenger plane using nothing but, you've probably guessed it by now, redstone. It's fully kitted out with minecarts, so you can actually bring people along for the bumpy ride. A really cool creation for sure, and it might be my favourite on the list so far. Super creative, and it actually looks like a lot of fun to ride. Matt Batwings 2, another YouTuber that makes some really amazing redstone machines, has outdone himself with this one. He managed to create a working calculator in Minecraft, and this is the trailer he made for it. There's an automatic farm for everything in this game, and moss blocks are no exception. But why can't I find myself to stop watching it? It's just so satisfying. Matt Bat Wings back again with another amazing creation. This time he's made a working chessboard. It has all the functionality you would expect from a chess game, but it's just in Minecraft. I couldn't really fathom how much time and effort this must have taken. It's actually so close to being like a fully fledged chessboard. Actually, I take that back. I think it actually is. I can't think of anything that would be missing from this. So yeah, this is a fully functional chessboard, just in Minecraft. Well done. I really like stairs back again with another game. But this time he's made the game Geometry Dash, and once again it's pretty satisfying to watch. This one's gonna hurt you redstoners out there, I can only apologise. So a player called OmaBS has made this map art and is using redstone to actually make moving waves. I didn't even know this was possible, but it's such a cool idea. And if you look on the bottom left on the map, it's actually moving. Pi EDM, hopefully I said that name correctly. Sorry man if I didn't, it's kind of hard to read. Has made a fully modular redstone block for their hardware course. And of course, he got the highest grade, and well deserved if you ask me. I don't know a username underscore 27 has made this working printer.
Just when I thought we were done with these recreations of games in Minecraft, Map Back Wings once again blows us away with this insane recreation of the Tetris game. It randomizes shapes, counts score, and you can even change the position of the shape. It's actually so clever, and it basically is Tetris in Minecraft. You're literally just playing Tetris. Danerdy Dude has built Conway's Game of Life in Minecraft using nothing but redstone and no command blocks here. In his post, he was asked, how did you plan a redstone project this large? And Danerdy Dude said, quote, I just focused on one little thing at a time. Basically, I got death and revival finished first, and then displaying the state of the cell next, then counting the number of the living cells around that cell before copying and pasting a bunch of times, end quote. He then goes on to talk about how long it took him, and it took him a very long time. Enjoy this trailer from Southside Llama TV, who recreated battleships in Minecraft. Il Mango created a 3D printer which has access to over 16 different colors and is also programmable. Minecraft Unofficial, who's actually a good friend of mine, made this amazing contraption that will convert your paintings into 3D landscapes. And this one was actually built on my own snapshot testing server a couple of months back, back when they were dropping 1.17 snapshots. If you guys haven't checked out Matt Batwing's channel by now, you really should. And tell him the Derpy Well sent you, because he's done a lot of amazing things. For example, this graphing build he created took him over a month to create. The machine can graph any implicit equation up to 38 characters long, as long as it doesn't overflow. The screen has 10,201 points, making it 101 by 101 pixels in size. The machine itself is actually really slow, and it's just sped up to make it easier to watch. And he's even offered a download for it, which will be linked down below for you guys. Once again, this isn't like an insane redstone contraption. I thought it was just pretty cool and it might inspire some of you guys. Wizbiz has made this pretty cool light design, which actually allows him to keep his area spawn proof without making it ugly. These bridge builders are getting insane. Shaft has created an automatic bridge builder that will actually make a pretty cool bridge design. He said in his post that the pattern can actually be changed, but it must respect a few rules. For example, it has to be an even number and less than 24 blocks in length before it repeats. Whilst on the theme of automatic builders, a player by the name of LS has created this flying machine that will automatically build houses. Apparently it was a machine he built a while back and what you're actually seeing now is his 1.16 conversion, which now adds in the basalt generation with lava mechanic. It uses an AFK player sitting in the middle, and it can actually build up to 57 houses an hour. Mr. Insane back again with the visually beautiful redstone creation. This time he's created a really satisfying minecart track that will appear and disappear on demand. I didn't even know you could push minecart tracks with pistons.
But that's it. If you enjoyed the video and you haven't left a like, please leave a like. It really does help out more than you might think. And let me know in the comments which was your favourite part. And if you want to see more, make sure you're subscribed with notifications on. It really does help out. I've got two more videos on screen I think you will enjoy.